other versions of you could be out there. If parallel universes exist, some other version of you just decided we must have made this up and clicked on another video, while you watch on and find your way to a mind-boggling truth. Is the multiverse real? Imagine that every time you are confronted with a choice, new versions of yourself are created, living out the other options you did not choose in this world. Our intuition says this must be fiction, but intuition can only take us so far when it comes to answering the tough questions about life, space and eternity. What's your gut feeling about the infinity of the universe? or about traveling into the future as you hop aboard a spacecraft approaching the speed of light as suggested by Albert Einstein. Let's ignore our instincts for a moment and take a look at the facts. The idea that there could be not one universe but several is based on scientific observations for which we have no other, more plausible explanation so far. This multiverse provides a coherent world view for which science may or may not find proof in the future, as it happened with other key scientific theories that seemed unlikely at the time, such as the bold assertion that the Earth is round. It's a prediction some aspects of which can be tested, and those that cannot be tested have not been disproved so far. Einstein's take on the theory of relativity traveled down the same road to become a generally accepted explanation of why things work the way they do. So, wild as it may sound, it's an idea that deserves to be taken seriously. Now that is settled, let's find out how you relate to your cosmic, not quite identical twins. Scientists believe our universe was born 13.8 billion years ago with a big bang. But wait, what's a universe anyway? From the point of view of scientific observation, it's not everything that exists but simply that part of space from which light has had the time to reach us so far. This leaves space for other universes, to put it very simply. Distances between objects in space appear to be getting larger as time goes on. Such an eternal expansion, which would follow on from the Big Bang, would produce an infinite multiverse. If space is infinite, this means it must contain regions where every possible course of events is played out. These regions, or parallel universes, would obey the same physical laws applying in ours. Cosmologist Max Tegmark thinks this is only the first out of four levels of multiversality. Let's move to the next level. Ready? Imagine that while space expands indefinitely, bubbles appear, like dough rising in the oven. In this loaf of bread, also known as space, our good old universe would be just one of many bubbles popping up all over it, each with its own Big Bang. This could happen if the expansion of space is chaotic. Now this sounds plausible, right? The universes contained in the other bubbles could have different laws of physics, as they are not connected to the world as we know it. For instance, matter could be made of different particles there. Physicists came up with the idea of this giant space bread as they were looking to solve one of the mysteries of life on Earth. Why do the laws of physics happen to be exactly what they need to be for life to exist? Most of the time, when a coincidence seems incredibly unlikely, chances are it's not a coincidence after all. If a multiverse exists in which an infinite number of universes is ruled by as many different physical laws, some of them are bound to present this precise combination. It's like winning the lottery. If you choose the right six numbers, the sheer unlikeliness of so much luck will make you dizzy. But with millions of people trying their luck, it seems likely that a few of them will happen to pick the right ones. Now, while our multiple multiverses are in the oven, let's take a step back to discover that there are more loaves out there. You've reached level three. Actually, to understand this particular kind of multiverse, instead of zooming out to imagine the biggest possible picture, let's zoom in on the smallest possible building blocks of space. We're talking about the behavior of atoms and their particles. Welcome to the world of quantum mechanics. 
it confronts us with yet another mystery. According to the maths involved in quantum theory, which has been scientifically proven and helped deliver inventions such as cell phones, particles can be in different places at the same time. In practice, zooming out again, this means that they will trigger chains of events with different outcomes at the same time. We all know that things either happen or they don't. So how can things simultaneously happen and not happen? You've guessed it, if they're happening in parallel universes. So you can be simultaneously at the party and not at the party. The moment you decide to skip the night out and stay at home to watch a DVD, a new version of the universe is created, where that other course of events with all its consequences is played out. Basically, the Level 3 multiverse contains all possible versions of history and your own life. If they exist, then somewhere in the multiverse, your cosmic doppelgangers are living out all the lives you would have had if you had made different choices. That's quite a lot of worlds out there. Enter Multiverse Level 4. According to Max Tegmark, who developed this theory, the fourth level brings all those parallel, multi-layered universes together under one roof. Try to imagine the size of that roof. He thinks that there may be a mathematical structure that could describe all aspects of our physical world. To understand this, let's not think of mathematics as sums and figures, but as a formal system describing how stuff works. In this scenario, humans are subsystems that happen to be aware of themselves, and since they are, the world appears to them as real. If there's a mathematical equation summing up everything, it would describe any parallel universes possibly out there. Those that are a part of our physical reality, which we have described before, but also those that are not. With such an equation, we would have reached the ultimate level of the multiverse, which is a relief of sorts. Of course, we still need to come up with that equation. In the meantime, we have to accept that parallel universes and cosmic doppelgangers could exist, but we cannot be sure. So, what can we do with this information? Two things. Accept that pure logic may sometimes defy our gut feeling, and also that we have to live with the decisions we make. If the multiverse exists, it is forever out of our reach. <laughs>